My dear parishioners and friends of St. Joseph Faith Community, may God bless you, grant you his peace, and give you strength in this difficult time. First, I want you to know that Father Andrew, Father Ed, Father Ken, and Deacon Bob, and I have you in our prayers, as I know you do all of us. For many of us, this Lent is like no other. It is truly a time when we have been given many crosses to bear as we deal with COVID-19 virus. As we journey through life, we all confront little deaths, pain, suffering, but in the end, we rise and move forward energized by our Lord. By his death, Jesus taught us how to be patient in suffering and to hope in the face of what may appear to be defeat. He taught us that goodness can overcome evil and sin, and that death does not ever have the last word. Our prayer these days invites us to be with our Lord and join him in his saving death and resurrection. We look to him, and as we do, we unite ourselves to him during this difficult time. He will give us the strength we need to deal with the sacrifices we are being called to make, and they are difficult for all of us. As a people, we must be hopeful, and in the end, we'll triumph. Above all, we are called to look out for each other and to play by the rules for our own safety and health. We must be very attentive to the most vulnerable among us to the extent that we can, for we are all God's people. We are familiar with the parable of the Good Samaritan. We are called young and old to assume that role for each other. I know with God's grace, we will always rise to the occasion, for we are God's people. Pray for all those who are coordinating a response to the COVID-19 virus. May God give them wisdom and strength. Pray for those infected with or recovering from the virus. May Jesus, that divine healer, offer them hope and healing. Pray for those who have died from the virus. May they know the peace and the joy of God's love through all eternity. We must pray for one another in the midst of uncertainty, fear, and for many, hopelessness. We must be a people of faith and hope. We are going to get through this. Our faith in Jesus is going to enable us to do that. Jesus tells us in the gospel, I find these words of his very comforting. I will be with you always until the end of time. Words of hope and encouragement. And in the end, triumph. I invite you to Check our parish website for information on liturgies and other prayer opportunities. Brother Andrew and I look forward to that day soon when we as God's people, the body of Christ, can once again celebrate Eucharist in our church and chapel and be one physically as we are now spiritually. Be mindful that if you need anything, have any concern, or just want to talk, you can call either one of us at the rectory, 973-543-2561. May God bless you, and remember, be positive, be hopeful.